Okay, here's the situation. I need to get this pipe centered as much as possible. And now I see why it wasn't centered in the first place because there's a rebar that's going right down the center almost, as you can see with my notification right there that I marked uh, here. And this is going to be the new center going this way. So I need to get the pipe to come back this far, but over here. So it's going to be off a tad because I'm not going to break this rebar. As you can see, the rebar is coming up directly um, near center. So that means the pipe is going to be off center just a tad. I'm going to try my best to get as close to center as possible. But right now, I'm going to uh, go up there and get me two 45s and a uh, two inch pipe and um, try to get with it and try to see what I can get out of this. I pre ordered my drain and I need to be down one inch uh, minimum in the center to account for the one quarter inch per foot uh, drain uh, height that I need. So I need to get this thing covered up because you know I did have a skunk issue months ago. They were up under the house and the smell is still here. So um, I went and got a bunch of sand to cover all this stuff up. But now since I'm right here, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get the pipe centered as much as possible and then fill it up with sand. And of course, you know, our concrete is going to go there and then the mud, deck mud. But I have to dig out all this concrete. Good thing that I only need to go down an inch, really. I'm going to go down there. I'm going to go down further than an inch to allow for me to have the uh, a nice mud bed. bed. But of course, you know, it needs to be deeper as you get closer to the center, which I have this great deep gaping hole here. So that's less work on me. I'm really just concerned with the outside now to get me a good slope. So right now I'm going to cut this drain pipe out, cover it up, go get me a couple 45s to see if I can get this thing uh, shifted over in the right direction. Wish me luck. Okay, here we are. Had to jerry rig some stuff to get this stuff done, but um, I got the old drain pipe off, and as you can see, I am about one inch or so off of being completely centered. Um, I'm centered this way, but this way I'm off just a tad. That is not going to make a break the shower. I'm good with that. The only deal now is to make sure that I'm down low enough in order to get the uh, the one. I should be one inch. I'm going to be right there because I'm right at the P-trap. Uh, any lower, then uh, it has to be even more work done. I definitely don't want to go into that. So this is going to have to work. I'm going to have to do whatever I got to do because that is something that I do not want to tackle, which is uh, moving the P-traps and all that other stuff deep down off in the dirt right there. But um, as you can see, it's down in there. I should be able to get one inch in there. Now, I know that I'm more than an inch down below, but what I'm trying to make sure is that uh, the P-trap, not the P-trap, but the, the uh, drain that I'm going, that I purchased, that I haven't received yet. The whole part of it has to go below, one inch below this. So I know I have some concrete to remove here because that drain is pretty wide. So I have to, I'm going to be cutting this anyway. So I should be okay. Okay, just like that. I mean, she's not perfect but she's close enough I got all of that there the pipe that's sticking out is not actually glued in it's just sitting there waiting for the drain I will glue it in when I get the drain and get all this stuff leveled here but I wanted to go ahead and cover up this hole and get the uh get that all of that covered up because you know it's bringing 
the smell from up under the ground, up under the house, into the house. So now that this dirt is there, it immediately, immediately uh, cured that issue. Not exactly sure when the drain is going to get here, but I'm going to um, go ahead and start trying to uh, get this concrete out. So I'm experimenting with different uh, blades here. This is supposed to be a masonry drill uh, cutting blade. So I'm going to try to see if I can get this thing to, to cut into this concrete and then I'll finish it off with my uh, jackhammer. And um, just to get that little one inch drop that I need from all four corners to here. So that's, it's not that much work, but, um, it's supposed to be a dusty, but I'm going to use my track saw, which has a dust, uh, collector and blower out through my, um, shop vac right there. So that's, that's another stage that I've, once I've done that, then it's, it's, it's showtime. Uh, I haven't, I've yet to do these here, so that's going to be on my agenda just to get these right here mounted correctly. And after I get that, I literally can uh, set this drain, mud this, and put up my walls and get started. <clears throat> okay, just to give you guys an example, uh, this is a 48 inch shower. And you can see the 24, I am a hair off from being dead center. Um, that looks like an inch. Well, maybe an inch and a half. Huh. I don't think I have OCD, but, you know, if I did, you know, this would really bother me. I'm tr and it's, I'm hating the fact that it's not dead center. Also didn't want to, didn't want to cut that rebar that is preventing me from getting that extra inch that I need to be center. So it is what it is. Hopefully, with the naked eye, from the naked eye, it won't be visible when I do the layout for the tile. Um, no one would ever know. Maybe just me. Unless you got down here with a measuring tape, measuring everything, you may not tell the difference. But anyway, the uh, I'm really glad that I took the initiative to go ahead and glue everything up and get it ready for the uh, drain and fill up the hole because it really has made a difference. Picked up some of my wife's smell good. I saw this raspberry somewhere in there. And it's really made a difference difference in the smell. As of course, if you didn't, if you fast forward and missed it or didn't see any of my videos, there was a skunk or a family of skunks that was basically living in this area. And all the fecal matter, fecal matter and everything was just all down here. There was a hole here like this. There was a hole right here where this drain used to be. And, you know, during the winter months or to keep warm, they dug a hole and they came up through the dirt and they were able to just come out and just chill out in this area. And this is one of those tubs that was a uh, built in tubs, jacuzzi tub. So all of this was just open to the fount up to the uh up under the ground here and so when i went to see what all i would have to do to get this um standalone tub put in i i broke the seal on the jacuzzi tub and pulled away and that's when all the smell came filtering into the house but made matters worse which is part of the reason i had this issue here the the hole they dug from the outside all the way up into here. So what was happening was the air from the outside was canned, was being sucked in. And here you go. Here's my uh, vent that my return, you know, it's sucking up air here. 
And so it was sucking up all the air from the outside was rushing in up under the ground, picking up the scent or the smell from the critters and bringing it up into the house and all the way through the whole system. So it was really horrible, even though um, it got good when I sealed this off and when I broke this back open, the smell came back because uh, it, you can see it's right here to right there. So and there was a there was an opening here. I want to say a void here that allowed the air to come from here all the way to here and all the way up through the house again. But now uh, that is no more because, as I said, I got it all sealed off. I got the um, the drain pipe sealed off. This is a drain pipe that's sealed off, and also the commode is also sealed off. So right now, it's really going to be a peaceful night's sleep because I don't have to deal with that. Um, and, I, you know, it was just a real horrible smell to get that. And I've sealed off the hole from the outside. I've actually concreted it so no critter will ever dig up under there again. So, um, you know, like I said, I was going to chill for the day and I went and got me a Michelob Ultra and thought I'd just come back in here and see how everything was going. It smells tremendous and uh, I was just here putting up some, some of this foam in the corners. And the reason why they're using this whole entire area, the reason why I don't have a niche, a niche right here is because this is the return that goes all the way up. And you can see it right there. So I didn't want to block any of the, I couldn't block, I can't block any of the air vents. The circulation has to go up here. So this wall has to be completely left alone. So there will be no shower niche in this bath and stall. I'll probably do the little corner shelves off in here. Obviously, I can't do anything on this side or anything on this side because all the space is taken up. But that's not a big deal for me. The corner, the little corner shelves are going to do me just fine, and uh, we're going to be good. I'm also taking a see my rain shower valve ready, and this is going to be the handheld here, along with two body jets, two body jets. So all in all, I'm excited to be at this point. Um, it was wearing on me, the smell and the hole and the off center and all that was really wearing me, but I've got it <clears throat> the best that I can. There's still progress. And now I just have to uh, get this drain in, get this hole dug up, get it, get the mud in and go ahead and put my shower panels up and just go from there.